Hi guys, follow me on Instagram to never ever miss any of my crazy updates. Hi guys and welcome to another vlog. I'm riding this. This is the BMW C3400 GT. These buttons can come into use as well. But anyways, this is the maxi scooter right in front of you. And you can see it has Bugatti Chiron inspired lights because there are four of them here. These four LED DRLs look absolutely smashing. Now, this is actually the high beam. I think that's for the low beam or something of that sort. But who cares? Who knows? Because it says here BMW LED and it has this nice face it has these cuts and creases it looks absolutely mind-blowingly phenomenal water scooter indicator is right here obviously this cost rupees 12 lakhs it has to be water scooter you get dual discs at the front the tire size at the front happens to be a 120 70 15 yeah this is a white tire look at the size of the front tire it's so huge well that's what she said you get telescopic forks up front and some exposed wires here or there and obviously steel braided brake lines now coming to the side you realize this is actually a long scooter it has a long wheelbase as well and then you have the bmw logo right there lots of cuts and creases everywhere but you would wonder like under seat storage would be a lot but no that's not the case because you know the engine head all that goes right there so that space is kind of compromised that is the exhaust which looks quite big for a scooter whose displacement isn't as much still more than double than the next available highest capacity scooter in india says 400 right there Okay, here is where the pillion puts his foot. There is where the rider puts it. And it says C400 there as well. That's the level of attention to detail. In fact, it says C400 GT right there. Beautiful looking scooter. I think in white, it looks way better. The other color is, I think, black. Grab rail is big enough here. And then you get sort of a chrome treatment on the lights. Now, all LED lights, of course. They look absolutely stunning. What a scooter. It has the BMW logo. And this is the reflector. Meanwhile, you get a sort of a mud guard which will help the pillion's back not getting full of mud during the rainy season, of course. And the rear tire size, of course, has to be wider still. So we're just going to rotate it to come to the size 150, 70, 14. You get a rear disc, of course, ABS is standard as well. This is adjustable for preload. Yeah, this is how you actually adjust it. So dual shocks at the rear, but here, okay, it says BMW. The engine is here, so it kind of extends inside. We are right now on the main stand. There is a side stand as well. And side stand obviously has what, you know, you guessed it right. Engine kill switch type thingy. That safety mechanism that you don't ride with the side stand down. By the way, just observe the distance between this, okay? Yeah, you can see the Slavia. That is the level of distance. It has the BMW flex case, which I'll show you in a bit. See, this really nice and comfortable. You get this beautiful white stitching as well. And you can see there's this backrest with GT written right there too. Now, there is some storage space here. So, you press this button and there is storage space. Meanwhile, you press this button, there's storage space, along with a USB charging socket. It says GT here. So, the level of attention to detail is absolutely unbelievable. So, it says C400 here and it says GT. So, there are like different things. Now, it gets keyless entry, which means I just come to the scooter, I press this button and there it turns on with this nice graphic. Yeah, this similar to the ones which you've seen on other BMW motorized motorcycles. Absolutely stunning. Okay, it has got Bibri brakes, which is something unusual which you don't really see on CBU models. BMW logo right there. This is not adjustable, but it cuts wind blast to a great extent. And then mirrors, we'll talk about that when you're riding this motorcycle. Rear brake is very hard, front brake is fine, of course. And there are a lot of switches and all that stuff. So, for starters, I can get into the menu button. So, using these buttons, I can get into the menu. Now, I've got into the menu button, I push this ahead to operate it and when the phone is connected you have got navigation media and telephone as well now urban is another mode so i press this button and there we get into urban mode which also shows you the rpm meter this is a temperature meter clock digital speedometer fuel meter real time fuel efficiency and all that is being shown as well telltale lights are almost everywhere let's get out of this menu which means you'll come out of the menu and then you can use this to browse ahead or behind now i get into the settings function there you have got plenty of settings. So again, let's rotate it. It's fun. You get all the information. It's like a loaded cluster. Push the button back. Go back. And you know what's the default mode? This is the default mode which shows the speedometer in the center. But come on, we needed a tachometer as well. Now, these are the controls for the lights. Now, this is for the hazard lights. The hazard lights are obviously on at the moment. Uh, this is uh, basically you get automatic lights as well. This is for the horn. <laughs> Yeah, horn a boss. And this is for the indicator, of course, the menu button, and this is for high beam, low beam, and all that stuff. Now, the funny thing is, like I already shown you, the indicator placement is here, which is quite unique as well. But what a gorgeous looking scooter. The most important thing is, is it having any sort of storage? First and foremost, when the uh, scooter is off, so ye dekho, ye nahi khulta, okay. So I just press this button, I've turned off the scooter. Now, yes, this is off. This opens. So this also has the keyless function. Keyless ride is kuchhe se band kar dete hain. Yeah. 
uh, uh, now it is shut as soon as i press this button all the display will come all the telltale lights will come this has come now this thing will not open that's a nice mechanism so let's press this button turn on the scooter there it kind of rose to life now i will press this button okay ye dabaya to ye khul gaya the under seat has opened and i will take it up okay now it has got a gas strut yeah hydraulic strut here take that cars which do not have all these features like when you open the hood of the car of course say c400 there in the storage space right there but you know what this is bmw flex case but how will you put a full size helmet you just cannot so what do you do you actually press this button like this this thing goes all the way down so when you park the scooter you can actually put a helmet and shut this as well yeah that's right so now you cannot ride a scooter because the flex case has been enabled in fact you can see that the flex case is down this is almost touching the wheel yeah almost it's not really touching but it's almost touching the wheel because of which obviously you cannot ride a scooter because it will have some travel which will end up hitting the helmet and breaking the helmet but you're going to be wearing the helmet when you're riding the scooter when you stop the scooter you can put it inside here and that's done here i just pull it away basically it's saying remote key not in range not possible to switch on ignition again because the flex case has been enabled to mai bas isko upar kar deta hu aur wahan pe wo warning chali jani chahiye okay i'm just going to shut this at the moment yeah this is absolute awesomeness at its best fantastic quality like next level quality just see the design of the scooter from the side it looks so mind blowingly phenomenal and now i am going to get to the scooter because i thought chalo bandi kar dete bina chue which is very easy before that let's rev it a bit okay listen to this there it's already reaching 40 50 km per hour <laughs> side stand ko niche kiya yahan se and there the scooter shuts What an absolute beast of a machine! कितना सेक्सी स्कूटर है यार बारह लाख मुझे कोई दे दो मैं ये पट से ले लूंगा बट यू नो वट एट 12 लाख रुपीज यू कैन बाई सो मनी थिंग्स नाउ आई डेंट शो यू द लाइट एक्जैक्टली सो हे अभी गो ओके दिस इज द डी आर एल विच इज एक्टिवेटेड एंड वन आई प्रेस आई गो ऑन हाई बीम लो बीम एन ऑल दैट स्टफ यप दिस इज द हाई बीम साइड में तो लो बीम है ये है डी आर एल स्कूटर के बी एम डब्ल्यू एल ई डी लास्ट टाइम नहीं दिखाता चलो एक काम करते हैं लेट स्टार्ट राइडिंग दिस एब्सोलूट मॉन्स्टर ऑफ अ स्कूटर वॉट अ ब्यूटी All right, let's turn it on. Press this button there, and then here we go. अरे यहाँ क्या हो गया? तो टाइम लगा रहे. Anyways, there it rose to life. And now initially, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get into the meter mode and change it to the urban one because there you can see the RPM meter. And off we go. Oh my God, zero to hundred kilometers per hour so fast, and the top speed one seventy six. 177, 178 kilometers per hour. Pay tops out. Full brakes. There it stops as well. Get off the freaking main stand and off we go. My goodness, I love this scooter. I think this scooter has nothing wrong. Everything is so good about it that I can't even pinpoint any mistakes or any issue with it because it is just fantastic. Only the price is mad, like crazy. But oh my god, what low end punch, what smoothness, what refinement, and what grunt as well. And then oh my god, for a scooter which weighs 214 kgs, the handling is unbelievably good. You can't. Feel that long wheel base at all? It really goes into a corner with so much enthusiasm and there's so much grip on offer. Am I in love? Yes, I am. This is unbelievable. This C400 GT has won my heart already. What an amazing scooter! But थोड़ी देर के लिए आराम से चलाते हैं before we give it the beans, which means चलो जा के cluster mode change ही कर लेते हैं. So here I press the menu button and there I'm just going to browse here, get into the regular one. Oh, I can see all my data here if I wish. My vehicle, onboard computer and the like strip computer as well. But ये सब से बाहर निकलते हैं. And here we are in the regular instrument cluster view, which is the most boring one I've ever seen. Acceleration is so freaking brisk. This is a scooter which puts a massive smile on your face. I love the weight distribution it's unbelievable just look at the way i am able to turn it in around the corner with so much confidence i've never been so confident on a scooter in my life this scooter is just unbelievable and brakes are so strong so sure footed just amazing here we are and off we go That is zero to hundred kilometers per hour in eight point six five seconds. That's how fast it is. Top speed is around hundred and forty kilometers per hour, and I am full open on the throttle. It's just pulling a little bit front end uh, uneasiness right now. But trust me on this, wind blast is quite well contained. This is very much functional. I've already reached one forty kilometers per hour, one forty one. Then the struggle starts. One twenty kilometers per hour cruising is very effortless. But beyond that, obviously it kind of struggles. But you know, high speed uh, like long sweepers, it takes it with so much comfort. It's unbelievable. What a scooter! Wow, BMW, I love you. I f- 
of you BMW what have you made you have made me now dream about buying a scooter worth 12 lakh rupees that's what you have done and pay 27000 rupees insurance every year it's so comfortable i can stretch my legs and i can put my legs wherever i feel like and the balance is so good that you can ride it like this but you should not ride it like this i was just telling you a demo of how it is so well balanced the scooter you should never ride with one hand forget riding without hands anyways unbelievable gas scooter banana bmw you are amazing mind blowing mind um, numbing phenomenal oh my god i am full of adjectives today this is unbelievably good a scooter but ye scooter is gap ke andar se to nahi jayega we kaam karte hain jaldi se menu button mein ghus jate hain let's change this to urban there is the tachometer at idle it's somewhere around 14 1500 rpm which is quite high and it's time to get going indicator to band kar do bhai <laughs> trust me in the city it's very nice heating is not an issue and off we go full throttle i can keep my foot behind ahead wherever i feel like seat is super comfortable i get some uh, rest on my lower back as well because of the lower back support and as i open the throttle i realize oh my god this is a cruiser this is not an urban scooter this is also a cruiser it is just so effortless so what powers it it's a 350 cc motor which is obviously liquid cool it's a fantastic engine super refined paired to a cvt box very smooth very refined their red lines at 7500 rpm 700 rpm 800 rpm no my god 8000 rpm <laughs> what an unbelievable machine this is a scooter oh my god it's going to make you green <laughs> year to year what an unbelievable machine i love it i absolutely love it so you got 34 horsepower and 35 newton meters of torque and even though the revs are quite high right now you don't feel that as much you don't feel that the engine is stressed engine never feels stressed it has a continuous linear surge and it pulls very strongly in fact it's saying 29.4 kilometers per liter is the fuel efficiency in spite of the riding style which i have which is unbelievable fuel efficiency and then it has a 12 0.8 liter tank which means boss ye to you can ride lamba also this is not a scooter for the city this is a scooter for mile munching mind i mean gobbling up the kilometers in utmost comfort because it's a very comfy scooter packed with performance it's i mean it is just unbelievably good and better than everything out there in terms of scooters at least wow i'm in total love with it the weight you can't feel that weight the ride is unbelievably good and i mean right now obviously the rear has been put on softer settings but trust me it glides over the worst of roads you don't feel even an inch of stiffness and yet it is so freaking balanced even with that massive wheelbase it's just so unbelievable BMW is BMW because of such things like what amazing scooters and the brakes are also so good shocking everything about a scooter shocking and then you want to go through traffic no problem here i'm doing it without even putting my foot down that is a level of comfort it offers me that's a level of weight distribution it offers me here you oh my goodness fessel what is happening i have a total love we are going to come to the start line here thoda sa side mat jao bhai logo oh my god char exhaust dekhe aaj ka to din barbaad <laughs> <sighs> you know you want to know the softness check this out you know if a uh, mercedes car has that bounce mode this scooter also has that bounce mode Okay, left foot on one brake, right foot on another brake. Revving the motor, and off we go by force. Oh, exhaust, Pali, Ertiga. <laughs> oh my God, I just had a lot of fun. A lot of fun. This is a different level of scooter. This scooter, what is this? What is this? Fun came out. Wow, no traction control, none of that bullshit. Just pure riding feel. Okay, you don't shift gears here, but you don't need to. Mirrors also give you a good view of what's around. So that's like unbelievable. Get on the throttle. You can hear the motor a bit. It's not very loud. I expected this motor to be a lot more louder, a lot more. I would say uh, intrusive. So with some vibrations, there are zero vibrations. There are no vibrations. You can't feel a vibrations on the seat. You can't feel vibrations on the handlebar. You can't feel vibrations on the foot pegs. Oh, anywhere, कुछ है ही नहीं मतलब vibration नाम की चीज़ ही नहीं है. Look, है ही नहीं. बिल्कुल zero. Nil, nada, zich, zero, shunya. <laughs> क्या स्कूटर है वॉस दिस इज अनबिलीवेबल टू एन एंटायरली डिफरेंट लेवल आई लव इट नाउ आई एम गोन शॉट माई माउथ सो यू कैन हियर इट एंड ऑफ वी गो me on this scooter ho ye to aisa vanna scooter ho hi na <laughs> but i have to admit price is unbelievably high it should be at half the price even actually lower than half the price char sade char lakh mein main khud khareed lunga 12 lakh mein to main sapno mein bina khareed paun it's that expensive i don't know why they're pricing it like over the moon trust me i can buy other bmw motorcycles for the price of this scooter this scooter is just too bloody expensive yaar aisa loot loge kya hame ab and off we go You know you can sit the way you like if you want you know 
uh, needs to be like this that also works here also it works anywhere you like it it works billion is also very comfortable right to matlab kaise in log ne achieve kar di itni achhi ride matlab ride and handling balance alag hi level ka bmw is usually stiff this one matlab softness bhi hai riding ability bhi hai handling bhi hai matlab sab kuch hi abhi thodi der mein aap log ko lagega ye sponsored post hai bmw ne mujhe paise diye tareef karne ke liye i wish but anyways over speed breakers don't have to slow down because ground clearance also seems decent enough how can this scooter be faultless as a ho kaise sakta hai ki kuch bhi issue nahi scooter mein nahi heating hai nahi uh, engine ki problem hai nahi ride handling ki problem hai handle bar is also like very responsive you can actually chuck it into a corner even though 214 kg is a lot of weight still you don't feel that so bahut hi acha scooter banaya ya bmw ya come on just make this in india now i'm telling you that at least some people can buy this scooter because unbelievably good also i don't understand why it's known as c400 gt when it actually has a displacement of 350 cc here coming around a corner no problem at all the kind of confidence it inspires is unbelievable matlab tum aaram se kahin bhi ghusa do ye aaram se chala jayega but then you have to also think you know para lakh ka scooter hai should i corner it if i fall down a replacement cost will be a lot more as well but like i am not caring at the moment because i'm like so much enjoying scooter i'm in love i'm in total love i usually do not like scooters because of cvt effect hoti hai rubber band oh aise go chalta rehta hai but ye to alag hi level kya performance hai in fact in gear acceleration is faster than bmw's own g310 you know that yeah roll on figures are that amazing i ye to matlab dekho ek hath se aaram se nikal lenge the weight balance is so good you can easily tip into a corner like without any effort bahut hi smoothly chalta hai chalo ek u turn mar ke dekhte hain how is it to take a u turn which means here onto the accelerator brakes stops very fast and then when i'm turning it i can turn the steering as much as i like and then scooter does not hesitate at all so guys this is my vlog of this beautiful bmw scooter i love you scooter i love you scooter say you love me back please bol do aise to bahut hi acha scooter hai yaar bahut hi acha but price is like it's a dream pinch me wake me up because it's just not पॉसिबल टू अफोर्ड दिस स्कूटर मतलब तुम कितने भी अमीर हो जाओ तुम स्कूटर अफोर्ड ही नहीं कर सकते और अगर तुम स्कूटर अफोर्ड कर सकते हो वेल यू आर इधर अंबानी और यू आर अदानी और यू आर बिल गेट्स और यू आर जेफ बेजोस और यू आर इलॉन मस्क और मे बी यू आर working in bmw and i'm that disappointed that you can't own this scooter it's time to end thank you so much for watching look at the kind of balance man kaun si speed pe main kahan turn maro main khud shock ho raha hu kitne pyar se jata hai yaar ye pyar alag hi pyar hai ye scooter hai nimble i'm not i don't even know what to say i'm just like so impressed by it i want one right now bmw please ek mere ko 100% discount pe dila do na yaar roz ena stories karunga roz iski tareef karunga and i'll influence more people to consider buying it obviously nobody can buy this scooter it's just too expensive ab rona aa raha hai तो बंद करते कैमरा